You guys, I'm pretty sure you guys met these before. Come here, girls. I call them like dogs. Stickla. Butterbean. Come on. I got a treat for you. Where's, where's Butterbean? By the way, these chickens are blind. Both of them, they were getting beat up pretty bad. This one had a hole in her neck. We cleaned it up and she actually uh, recovered real nicely. Um, she's mostly blind. Come on, Butterbean. She's fine in one eye, the other eye is completely blind. This one, she's completely blind in one eye and probably about 30% in the other, which is kind of comical. But the funny thing is, you know, chickens lay eggs depending on the sunlight. If there's not enough sunlight, they'll stop laying. And uh, these guys don't stop because I guess they just don't really know what's night and day. So they still lay their eggs, but they, they do it on the ground because it's usually where they nest. They, they can't get up on the, the, the roost, even though it's, uh, it's quite low. Go ahead, eat up. I had a spoon just to stir it. I could spoon feed you. There you go. Oh, see, good. He missed it. You know it's there, though. Here, Butterbean. All right. I just like to throw some oatmeal on cold days. Down like this. I don't usually change location because they... Uh, They get confused <laughs> they know where their their treats are usually now this one when you go to pet her she kind of flares out and she just they don't mind any hey, stickla anyway this is not a chicken video this is a killing a raccoon and eating it kind of video so we'll get going on that Guys, so just gonna set some uh, DP traps, some dog proof traps here for a raccoon. That tree is sturdy enough. Got my uh, carabiners, so I've got to kind of do it this way. But. Anyways, that's pretty much it. There's a couple dried out. dried out marshmallows in it. I'm gonna use cat food this time. I'm gonna try something a little different. Yeah, that's it there. I'm only, I'm only setting a couple of these just mostly because just don't have time to, to go around trapping or checking my traps a lot because I still work full time and uh, and it's heading towards the end of the season here now anyway so you know raccoons are not going to be moving around so much so this will end soon all I'm doing here now is just throwing some cat food in there down and grab a little bit here these are all new bottles they haven't been opened yet which is some syrup maple syrup actually this is just corn syrup I think yeah just to bring them in and now it's just fish sauce, which is more like a lure. You can smell it. It travels. 
stuff. I like to get that stuff up in the trees a little bit, just so the scent gets thrown out a bit. That's it. And that's it. I'll leave that. This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Bert Raccoon wakes up. Checking the first trap of the morning. Got one, one guy in there. So we won't prolong this. We'll have to go ahead and dispatch him and uh, get the other ones checked before I get to work. So we got a female raccoon here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and. Get the fur off this i'll roll the fur put it in the freezer we'll deal with it another time and uh, as you guys know from the thumbnail this is a cash clean cook sort of deal i'm thinking about jerky raccoon jerky seems interesting to me we'll cook it first obviously because these things carry the same issues as black bear so i'll fully cook it i'll show you the process anyways but uh anyways um yeah we'll get the fur off put the fur in the freezer we'll deal with that later quarter it up i'm just inspecting it here now Make sure there's no uh, injuries or infections or anything that might render the meat somewhat useless. But it looks pretty healthy besides being dead. So all I'm going to do here now is trim up the fat and everything on this. Get this all cleaned up. And uh, I've been letting it sit all night on this rack just to let it rest and drain the rest of the blood and that from it. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that now. Not only good, it's good enough. decided to do the raccoon in as a jerky so uh, what we got here this is my favorite jerky recipe um, this is half a cup of uh, sodium reduced soy sauce we got two tablespoons of mustard uh, one teaspoon of liquid smoke and um, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce we got one teaspoon of uh, that's a uh, seasoning salt one of uh, black pepper, coarsely ground black pepper, and then one of onion powder, and one of garlic powder. And uh, I like to mix all of this with the meat in a Ziploc bag so I can lay it flat. You need a lot less if you do it that way as well. If you put it in like a, in a little Rubbermaid or something, or a little piece of Tupperware, um, you're not, you're gonna need a lot more of this to coat the, the meat, so. Tender, and you can just pull strips off like that. Right over here. This is also how I do my bear jerky because this way you avoid certain things like trichinosis and see, and it just pulls right off in nice little strips. And it's fully cooked so you don't have to worry about anything. So I'll go ahead, pull all this off. It's real easy. 
put it in a bag, marinate it, and throw it in the fridge. And then uh, we'll come back tomorrow, and then we'll put it in the dehydrator and take it from there. Well, this is the meat just from the quarters of that raccoon. And, I mean, that's my hand next to it. That's a, a fair bit of meat. And uh, so now that I know that I like it, my wife likes it, and the kids likes it. This is a viable meat now, and I'll be aiming these little critters a lot more next year. My wife, who I will not call a picky eater, because she doesn't like that, is more picky than I am. Tried this, as it was cooked with only water in the slow cooker, and she enjoyed it. So, when I say this is a good meat, there's like no gaminess. It is real, real subtle, like the flavor is... Probably similar to, I would say, bear meat, really. it's But a lot of people don't know what bear meat tastes like, so I'm going to say probably pork. But it reminds me a lot of bear meat. It's oily. It is greasy. Cook it in a slow cooker, and that can take care of most of that stuff. So I'm going to bag this up here now and throw the, uh, the jerky mix in with it. And that's it bagged up there now with all the, uh, <clears throat> the mixture. Uh, I like to just put this in the fridge now for overnight. And uh, when I get up to take a whiz, I'll just flip it over. That way I'll make sure it's uh, fully coated. And tomorrow we can go ahead and dehydrate this. But we'll bring that in tomorrow. And uh, see if some people like it. See if they like the experience. Some people just want to be able to say that they've eaten a certain thing. So I find this is probably the best way to prepare it because... Who doesn't like jerky? So at this point in the video, uh, you're going to get a reaction of a friend of mine from work. However, due to the nature of my work and not realizing at the time, uh, there's some, uh, I guess, sensitive stuff going on in the background. And uh, no, I don't work at a strip club. But uh, yeah, there's just stuff there that uh, my employer probably wouldn't want the general public to see all the time. And throwing it out on the internet. So uh, I'm going to overlay the audio with pictures from his Facebook. Um, yeah, big time musky fisherman. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are as well. So I think you'll like some of these images. He's got some pretty decent uh, muskies there. He's actually the president of the chapter for this region uh, for musky uh, fishing here in New Brunswick. So anyways, on with the video. So this is my buddy Wiki. We're social distancing, so I'm way back here. But um, he has a business called Wiki Baits, and uh, he spec specifies specifies that's the word specifies in um, musculars, right? Yeah, that's correct. And you're doing pretty good with that. Yeah, not too bad. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the link uh, to how you can get in contact with him down in the description, and uh, his stuff is doing pretty good, and, and uh, you'll be able to see some of his content on Facebook. But anyways, he's never tried raccoon before. He's gonna try it for the first time. I want your real opinion, whether you likes it or not. It smells good. We're down to half a jar because I've already shared it with a bunch of people. And nobody yet has not liked it. Everybody's liked it. Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. You have some more, you want it? It tastes like beef. Yeah. I. No gaminess whatsoever. None. No. None prepared whatsoever. Right. It's, that's really good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take another piece. Trick is to make sure you got a lot of the fat off it and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Free jerk I, I never would have known that that was raccoon. No. Nope. Not a good. chance. All right, man. Yeah, so uh, I'll uh, I'll throw the link to, like I said, to his, uh, however you can get a hold of him. And I know a lot of you guys like the musky fish. And so, uh, yeah, he's got really, really good lures. So, cool. Well, I'm here editing the video that you guys just watched, and then I realized I didn't summarize it. So, which gives me this opportunity to uh, wish you guys a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a Happy Holidays. While I sit here and enjoy the last bit of, last jar of raccoon jerky that I made. And uh, I'm going to ask you guys as, as well, um, if you can head over to uh, JV Outdoors, I'll put his link in the description. Uh, he did a video, a uh, really nice, heartfelt, and uh, funny video. 
on his channel. It was like a holiday special and a bunch of us from the outdoor community got to go over and do a little video clip just wishing people uh, happy holidays and stuff. So if you guys can check that out, uh, I would really appreciate that as well. But uh, thank you guys again for getting me as far as I have. It's almost been six months since I started YouTube and it's grown a lot more than I would have ever uh, imagined at, at this point in time. So uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys and all the support you give me. And it's uh, it's definitely made my year um, much, much better. And uh, I, I can't thank you guys enough for that. So thanks again. And I'll see you guys in 2021. Cheers. That's a lie. I got another video scheduled to come out probably in a few days. But uh, yeah, I'll see you whenever.